uh, welcome all. A uh, very good mo uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Professor Srinath and uh, Cynthia Madam to give this kind of opportunity for me to introduce uh, Professor Das, or rather I'll say reintroduce Professor Das to this Samvad uh, talk series. Uh, so using this particular opportunity, I wanted to talk about Professor Das, what he has accomplished, what are his achievements and all. If I look into his biograph, which is available in IIITB, it's an exemplary biograph. All the new faculty who joins IIITB would see that kitna kaam kiya hai. To put it in a Hindi local language, bhut kaam kiya hai. But I still feel there is a missing. What I'm saying is, it's an exemplary research work he has done in the institute in IIITB or in his uh, past uh, uh, work. It's an exemplary work. And he still continues to do that. What happens is when we talk about Professor Das, we associate him with his all his great research work. And I personally feel that we miss his uh, uh, teaching component. Because his overall uh, research experience is so very great. So we miss the teaching component. Uh, and that is something missing in the, uh, in the biograph. So I'm going to talk about that and then uh, request Professor Das to continue his talk. So he's been awarded the prestigious IETE Teaching Award in 2017. All right. And when I looked into the IETE Award of the past years, 2016, 15, 14 and all, it has been awarded only to an IIT professor. IIT Kanpur professor uh, Dr. Banerjee had got it in 2015. 2016, I think one of the Australian professor had got it, or rather one of the US professor had got it. And then 2018, I think uh, one of the Australian professor had got it. And Professor Das, who re represents IIIT Bangalore, is in one of those, uh, you know, a great list. So we're very uh, privileged to have that. We are very honored to have Professor Das in our uh, faculty community. Uh, and he has taught a numerous number of courses. Uh, taught in a lot of courses, networking and communication is his primary core area. He keeps teaching and he never says, you know, I am tired for this particular course or something. So for, as a faculty who has joined IIITB, it, Professor Das is kind of a motivator, you know, constant motivator for all of us. Um, in his deanship, when he was a dean academics and R&D, we also started a lot of programs. MTech in uh, executive MTech executive program with uh, Samsung. We also started IM Tech, which was only I IT under his uh, deanship. We also started IM Tech in CSC and IM Tech in EC. We also started uh, M Tech in ESG program, which is now uh, renamed or rebranded to M Tech in uh, EC. And uh, we also started MSC in Digital Society. So on this particular note, I would like to call Professor Das and deliver his uh, talk. Dr. Madhav for the kind introduction and uh, Dr. Srinath uh, for such a wonderful uh, Samvad program going on. Thanks to him and Cynthia and all my colleagues and my dear students. And this topic in front of you has uh, really uh, three parts. I I have never uh, given in the three parts. This is the first time I am giving in three parts this talk. And uh, part one uh, is, have I made a right choice by joining MTech and IM Tech? It's a very difficult question when you are in undergraduate, uh, third year and fourth year. We always contemplate, in, including me also, contemplate whether I should do, uh, whether I should not do, and if yes, why, if not, why, and all kind of things goes on. And we'll solve this complex problem. You know how to solve complex problem, OK? So, so we'll solve that. Then where is the challenge for the next steps? If I am done a right or wrong, whatever it may be, but next, it is much more challenging. It's much more interesting and challenging. I'll try to quantify exactly how much time, energy, and we need for less of our 30 years, next 30 years, or next 40 years of our life to work. Uh, and. <clears throat> Uh, as Dr. Madhav said, we have only spent only 15-20 years of our work, another 20, 15 years or 20 years how to work. 
and and how to succeed and having fulfilling technical career this is also a, another very uh, tough job so let me go one by one and please feel free to stop me ask me questions and it will be more interactive okay so disclaimer or as usual because any name taken for discussion not mean to any individuals any examples taken <laughs> all kind of things so this is a, this is a discussion however this last line is this is a discussion however your decision is final don't come back to me telling sir you told me <laughs> i have done this so, so your decision is final we'll only help you take the decision process other than me mother professor chandrasekhar sina and all we are helping you to take the decisions okay so now coming to the part 1 have i made a right choice this is a real interesting question actually and a tough question anyone you ask you you will be thinking this difficult to answer because due to di di academic interest whether i should do masters is an academic interest phd is an academic interest shall i go to engineering or medicine or law it's an academic interest it's a big question mark so like first one is academic interest then comes the social structure social structures means your parents may be telling join job or your relatives may be telling join job but your parents may be telling go for higher studies you yourself may may not be wanting for going to higher studies and you may be wanting to go higher studies most of the times you may wanting because you are here so this is a social structure dynamics of job this is the ultimate we all study to job means job doesn't mean the company i mean you may be entrepreneur you may be a professor there are three jobs 99.99 goes to the three jobs and uh, 90 95% of us goes to the companies and uh, uh, 3 to 4% becomes entrepreneur nowadays and 1 1.5% becomes faculty so only three options in front of you okay not much so majority is uh, and the job is you are going to company so i whole talk will be focusing on this majority things major means company jobs or something like that okay so now so in that sense let us try to quantify above uh with the past as well as future trend what was there in this world and how world changing and where the world is going that part is very interesting my part to where the world is changing and where how we will equip ourselves to do that how to quantify that and how to do that and that part so let us try to quantify one by one first we will prove that have i done a right choice after proving that then i'll go back to the part 2 where challenge next steps and how to do achieve that in your career career for next 30 40 years so this have been i've been thinking for last many years and last few days also in a deep thought of this so how to do that so relationship between vitamin m and vitamin k what is vitamin m money wow <laughs> so vitamin this is because this example money you people understand very well so so i thought to quantify that to make you understand vitamin m first because the, then i will not be in the m i will be leaving m very quickly i will go to vitamin k the k is the knowledge okay so because m all of us understand so we'll start from there and it will be uh, some of uh, but this this graph might have been seen by some of your seniors but i am not stopping there i have gone much more ahead of that graph lot of things i have added later on which not shown by uh, not shown to anyone today i will be discussing that for first time so let me start with this say this is uh, and this is your x axis this is t this is time and y axis is your vitamin m money and <clears throat> look at this and two brothers two brothers graduated be taken 2016 this is which year 2018 two years back 2017 2016 okay so now or it's very nice smart board so 
so you can 2016 2017 2018 and they graduated in 2016 two brothers undergraduate and they came they they this is a brother a brother hari and brother brother narahari okay <laughs> <laughs> so 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 hari and not hari you don't know them so and <laughs> hari okay hey is it recorded uh, let it be so both the both the brothers um, finished their btech and 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 both the brothers argued and one brother said no i want freedom i want to go to job other brother said no no i want to do higher studies and <clears throat> so let um, this this brother uh, wanted to do higher studies other brother want to do job and always give me the num i will ask you questions i will always tell you give the average because always better to talk about the average don't go to the toppers or what they got what don't go to the bottom of the class what they got okay so let us say that uh, uh, hari uh, who went for the job can you please tell me the colleges from where from you graduated say because that is the majority one i am not talking about the 1% of the students those who come from uh, some institutions so majority comes from uh, institution from where you are so average what is the salary when they graduate go to it institutes yes 3.5 lakhs yes 5 3.5 3.5 3.5 that is your number it's not my number all your number 3.5 okay and and one thing i wanted to uh, for, uh, btech and im tech both are here so btech means um, btech plus m tech so that is and im tech means 5 years course so first 3 years btech last 2 years is m tech so in that sense uh, i have addressed to both so 3.5 3.5 means it is let us assume 3.6 it is easier to divide it by 12 so how much is coming 30000 per month okay now look at this so 2006 he joined 10000 20000 30000 40000 50000 60 70 how oh, why i am doing so much so now 1 to 30000 okay 30k is the salary okay now uh, this 30k got the salary now he is working every year how much is the your increment how much percent is nowadays 5% or maximum 10 nowadays in our time it was 30% 25% but it is no more there so not our time uh, so now look at this if it is 10 it is easy to calculate or or 5 so now next 2017 it will be 33 33 so here so 10% of 33 is how much 37 point something so it is be below 40 no so now let me make it little small here this is 30 this is 33 and this is 37 so 37 also here so now 30 33 37 and it is going like this in a slope and this is like this and this angle of this one is theta 1 and you are going 10 plus 10% every year okay so third year how much will get 37 will be 41 of a 41 or 42 so that will be here 41 or 42 so that is mean 2019 this is your 41 or 42 then 2020 you will be 45 so this is 45 got it so in 4 years he is this 45 and 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 uh, and the other brother the <laughs> narari uh, gave gate exam and uh, and graduated and gate exam got admission to one of the good institutions say uh, any of these iits or this top triple iits or iic i am not bringing in triple it bangalore even in the top 3 triple iits it is um, keep little impartiality okay so now you have joined in iit iis even the triple it bangalore you can think of no problem so now he joined here 2016 mtech what is your mtech fellowship 
12,500. So 12,500. Okay. So now this is 12,500 is here and it is flat, straight. No increment. Okay. No, no increment. Did you get any increment? Yearly? No. Very pretty bad. So, so now you didn't get any. So it is flat. So after two years, after two years, the uh, same where the Hari was working, same company came for interview to the campus. Okay, so now you you 2018 just graduated. What is the average salary? 13? What 13? 13,000 or what? 13 lakhs. Okay, for calculation, easy calculation, average that is. Average. I, I never go to the top or bottom. Average is always safe side to calculate. So, for easier, I make it 1 lakh less, 12 lakhs. 12 by 12 is 1 lakh per month. Okay, so now look at, look at my hand now, very carefully. So, 30, 40, then this is 50, this is 60, this is 70, this is 80, this is 90, this is 100, 110, 120. And now, where is the 100? 100 is here. Now, look, 2018, he is going from here because 12 and straight hitting. Am I right? It is your number. I have not asked. I, I was searching for Roshni to ask this question. What was the average? I didn't get her. She must be in the lunch. So, uh, so, so this is the this is the thing. You see, you are flat here, and you went here, and after he is also getting a ten percent increment. So one lakh ten percent is how much? So 19, 20, 19 he will get one lakh ten, and twenty twenty he will get one lakh twenty one, and here is a theta two. Yes or no? The slope. And here is the theta 1. Now look at. Now you are now you are thinking what I am going to say. Okay. Everybody is silent. How much financial loss Norari had? Look at this. Norari had financial loss here. This much was the financial loss of the Norari. First two years. Yes or no? And what was the financial gain of the Norari last... After that, next two years, so if this financial loss area is A1 and this financial gain is A2, A2 is greater than A1 or not? Yes, and theta 2 is greater than theta 1, yes or no? Great. Now tell me. Why this fellow who has two brothers, two twin brothers, one went for job, one went for M-Tech and same company, same IBM, they have two divisions, same HP or same Infosys or same Wipro. They are giving two different distinct salary within two years. And they, both of them undergraduate from the same place. Only the variation is post -grad. Now tell me why. These numbers are not mine. You gave me. And please, please, for your understanding, my understanding, everybody's understanding, companies are not fools. They do not give 50 paisa. Forget about 1 rupee extra if they do not see value. If they don't see value in you, they will never give. So what made them to give you so much? You means not you, your seniors. So that answer is, tell me. Huh? What? K. What is that K? Full form, full form, full form. Knowledge. What is knowledge? Now, next question. What is knowledge? What is knowledge? Very easy to define, difficult to define or you see, 
Now look at this. If this is Indian scenario. I am not quoting United States or Germany or Japan, Korea and all those things yet. Not yet. So in Indian scenario, look at this. What you are doing? Where is? And I will tell you where are the dangers and all all kind of things. So now look at this. This gentleman is taught in the undergraduate, and at that time he was taught. Okay, you learn good coding, and he knows some of these subjects very broad. This one. Okay, and. <clears throat> he was given always a srs document software kind of things where the people design somewhere else and write those software requirement uh, specifications and those documents and they code it they don't know what is inside why it has been done classic example is somebody designed the car and we we here we say assemble it manufacture it or you repair it but we don't know why this car engine is be designed like that no one asked that question actually so this person goes on in this line and he was not being he was not his his fundamentals needs more maybe concept needs more clearance for an example but other person spent two years to clear this some knowledge in the basics and fundamentals and when the interview he gives this fellow and the the interviewer the same company feels that hey he make may contribute much better than the other person so he gives this salary with the expectations that he will do well that is the only difference so what is the difference is here the person knows what this person i am writing it here called coding smart guy good presentation english and he knows how to explain and all and all those things so these are called skills and they are being told n number of times please learn coding please learn coding please learn coding and and some subjects of course while giving interview 10 20% of knowledge but this person supposed to be in a good institute supposed to be who learned couple of domain knowledge so the vitamin k has two parts one is called domain knowledge plus skill i'll differentiate here very very well 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 i uh, because i have been working very closely with two companies so from where i'm gathering silently lot of data from them without telling them and i'm thinking that what what is the what is the what is the problem where is the problem so now this one this skill if you look at if i am getting 40000 at here from 30 i started say i am getting 40 here i am getting 100000 here so the weightage is 60 first is to 40 skill is important but 60 40 so that domain knowledge what you gathered for last 2 years or somewhere anywhere that give you 60% more salary it was 40 so together is 1 lakh 1 lakh is not only your 2 years of mtech before skill was there with you so don't neglect that skill is also important but domain knowledge is more important what i wanted to say is that 6 the 60 40 around actually 70 30 i'm just i'm little 60 40 the classic example which i used to give is that um, i will ask you question again if you visit any hospital you enter you see two names doctor x and doctor y and we have a fever and here written mbbs here written mbbs md and here written rupees 100 visiting fees rupees 500 visiting fees where you will go Huh? Where you will go? MBBS plus MD. Even though it is five hundred, yes or no? It is you are telling, not me. So you paid premium of how much? Uh, both have both are having stethoscope on their neck. That fellow has a stethoscope. This fellow has a stethoscope. That fellow also put on your chest. Both are inhale, and that fellow also tells inhale. But for inhaling and all, you are paying four hundred rupees more. Got my point? So why you paid him four hundred rupees more? That is my question. 
you see this is 100 plus 400 this 400 premium you are paying for this why same instrument both use stethoscopes both ask you to do the blood test both ask you so what is why, why you pay 400 rupees more with an expectation that this person while hearing my sound from my heart or my lungs will diagnose me better and may reach to the medicine closer to my requirement than the other person that is your for that you are paying 400 and for that that fellow has studied three years more md md has not come to him so easily so here the company who is hiring you look at my hand this person this one he is expecting that due to this kind of higher studies you may be solving his problem better so he is paying you higher. So that domain knowledge. It's clear? So now this vitamin M is proportional to K. I started with the money, now I will not talk about money anymore. So it is knowledge. A knowledge has two parts, please be careful here. Now the serious issue start. Knowledge has two parts. One is domain knowledge. One is called skill. So we always stress on domain skills. Good coding, good English, good presentation. Acha tie shoot code pen ke presentation de do. Job ho gaya. Uske baad t-shirt or back to square. No. So that now let me go back. Now let me go back little bit. My question: Have I done a right choice? With respect to this example. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. But don't be slack on this. That I'm joined MTech. I will tell you now rest of the dangers. I have not just started. Now I prove that it is yes. Now look at this person. This person here after five years his salary is fifty thousand say, and this person is also moving on this direction. So this fifty thousand. If there is a there is a manager, he has a thousand people reporting to him. Whenever I go to this company, they say, they are very happy. What work they are doing, they don't tell me. Sir, hundred log mujhe report karte hain. Sir, aapko kitne log karte hain? Main bolu, main khud koi report karta hu. Mera na aage koi hai, na mera piche koi koi nahi hai. Then I ask them, why have called me? Na na, sir, we want to listen to you. What research you are doing? Okay, fine. But so they only talk how many numbers. But what what they are doing, they don't say. I know why, the, why they don't say, but I don't ask. So now, so now this is 50,000. Okay. So 1,000 into 50,000 is how much? 10. Kitnawa? 5 crores. Understood. So now, he is now spending 5 crores his manpower salary but he's 5 years he's been coding that person uh, the two after 2 years of experience the person is coding at here only coding no nothing there he's not using his brain not inventing anything so here he used to pay 40000 so now he's uh, uh, so what he will do he will say now he will say boss you are getting 50000 but in 40000 people and you are coding these two people are same so why should i keep you because you are not adding any value to the system except coding. Then you have only three options in front of you. Option number one, work for longer hours. For that only people are getting back home at 9 p.m. instead of 5 p.m. Because to how to, how to justify this 10,000 extra. Or you come back to the previous salary, 40,000, which is not possible. At that time, after five years, we must have a home loan, must be married and all kind of things. So now, so you cannot come back, you work more and more and more because or you quit, third option. So you can find in 10 years, 15 years in Indian industry of IT, unfortunately, people are under tremendous pressure of hours of working because of to justify this growth of the salary only coding. They're not adding any new values except fast coding or new, new coding, which juniors can do. Nowadays, I saw class 10 assignment is a Java programming on banking software. Home, within 7 days time. And 12 coding is much higher. So, you are lucky that you are here in this line. 
and if you fall into the same and this domain knowledge we gather in two years here which give you this height if you fall into the same trap of this one like only coding you will also face the same hit if you are not not doing anything new so now listen the rest of the parts very carefully where is the challenge for the next step where should we go and why ask me questions look at this technology drives business professor manish gupta is here he can tell better professor sadagopan gives excellent talks you can ask them all of them are here professor chandrashekar srinath and all there is no doubt it ola changed the dimensions uber changed the dimensions this video can all this kind of changes dimensions of our business completely overnight mall was people are telling the mall people will not go to kirana networks but now people are not going to uh, the mall also because online big basket everything coming to home why should i go to mall anymore so technology drives business absolutely no doubt in it so where is the challenge where is the challenge look at this there is something very interesting which i heard and then i read a couple of journal papers on this and read it half life knowledge in engineering before giving you talk i read myself what is called half life knowledge in the engineering i will explain to you where the world is moving in technology second bullet i will explain to you where am i in the areas of inter technology after understanding these two you have to find out where am i in this technology world 95% the companies i am taking company in academy also same question or i am doing entrepreneurship in the same but common thing is we all do technology wherever we are where am i and research and development is important needs balance between the two we always only talk about the development that coding coding testing and all but we forget this one in undergraduate so we needs balance between the two between the research and the coding so 60 40 you remember that 60 40 or 70 30 what are what are your plans i will ask you of course not in in this group you can you to ask yourself how to after knowing your plans how to plan accordingly in technology career this is the answer at the end okay so i will go step by step what is half life engineering this is very interesting in engineering i am not talking about anything else half life engineering this is half life knowledge in engineering definition this is amount of time that has to elapse before half of the knowledge in a particular area is superseded that means if you finish to the undergraduate whatever you learned over these four years how much time it will be 50% in your brain means other 50% is already new things has been discovered or invented no use absolutely no use that means called half life knowledge of engineering and there is a professor uh, who is professor fridge who was in princeton and new york university he was the he was the president of international economics forum his pretty prestigious position of the worldwide and he was 1972 to 1974 three years, three years as president for his this work he, his pioneer work was this he he studied and found out what is half life knowledge in engineering so an engineering degree i have given the reference it is there in the slide it is available in ieee spectrum 2015 and all so if you look at that very interesting 1930 it was 35 years if you study it something today it is valid 50% till next 35 years 1960 it is 10 years 1995 years interestingly the research complete study was done on it software and cs engineering by again a very famous professor professor flip crunch 30 years of software engineering. he was in a company then he was a professor in british columbia in vancouver he was he's from our line software engineering and and cs engineering and all he found out in 1990 it is 5 years so look at the interesting part 30 60 90 Dif what is the 30 30 years and this is the train 35 10 and 5 next is 1990 plus 30 is 2020 only how many years left so so if you are graduating in 2020 your half life can you tell me engineering half life is maybe it may be 1.5 years of 2 years for safer side 
Okay, so 2020. If this is the truth, why it is happening? Because internet has a lot of knowledge and a lot of nice books were there and automation is happening because we are making out so much of... Our knowledge pool has gone up. So what we are inventing today, it is becoming absolute very fast. So, so our knowledge has to also move very, very fast. So this is, we are now in this era, 20, this is, this is practical actually, two, two years now or two and a half years. So now question is, any technology product, if you join any R&D company which are coming to the campus and taking you, mainly driven by engineering graduates, technology products is engineering graduates and engineering graduate means half life is your two years, how to survive then. So we all know, we all know every time a product needs new value addition. Today if you buy a phone, next year if you go to buy a phone, you will buy the same version? No, you want a new one. New one means new features. New features means innovation. Innovation means comes from innovation. So I need innovation. And how to match my that domain knowledge with the skill for innovation is my challenge actually. This is how to have in my career. Then I can survive next 30, 40 years. If I do not do that, then my life is in trouble. So where the world is moving. Look at this. This is a little bit to already I might have told you in the class, but little bit I'm emphasizing here. Many of you might not have heard. So as I told you, the information is only three C, only three steps. What are the three C's? The three C's, only information means one and zeros. This one and zero. Information is only in two, this, all information, one and zero. One is called conservation, first C. Second C is computation. Third C is communication. If we look at any one and zero on this art, either it is in the database stored there, or in computation, means it is in the CPU, some computation is going on, or it is in communication. I am sending from one machine to another machine, that's all. Uh, or um, one human to another human. So if you look at all research on this art, any so many departments on this art belongs to one of these three. Any department you go. If you go to conservation, hardware, and this is the hardware, and this is the software, database design, and all research going on database storage, data management and all. Computation means any, any applications you develop, you keep it. And 30 years back, the supercomputer process, other one was telling me, computers and computational power is now close to near future mobile CPU that I7 he was talking about. So look at how fast the computational speed was going on. Power consumption also reduced drastically. Algorithms, machine learning, deep learning, bringing in new paradigm in the decision making. This is in the computation. And of communications, in the 5G in the wireless and 5 terabytes per second in a single fiber. More than that actually, that has brought communication very close to our, ourselves, so much things are happening. This, all these things are leading, I'm just giving you a little background, where should you go? So what, where we are going? This, all these things, this huge data from above three broad areas will bring in lots of automation. This is the, this is the job, jobs impact, huge impact in the job. All these three areas. And the dynamics in job will change. Transition of more from development testing to more in R&D and automation. Every area in communications, database, data science, and if you are working in algorithm and all, all these things will lead to this. Okay, so now if it is moving that, then this is important. I have made an arrow at here. Domain understanding and research will be important. Why? Because you will be sitting in not only development, you will be doing coding anymore. Because these all these jobs of testing and writing codes, I was in a, uh, evaluating some research paper last week. Some papers were there, very interesting. If you give them the screenshot, codes are coming out automatically. Somebody has invented already. So people are not writing any more code for any website developments. Web, any, any complex website, you just give them the screenshot, they put it into a program, and codes are coming out on the other side automatically. No writing of the codes. So, <clears throat> so like this. So what, what to be automated needs this needs domain knowledge and automation. So you should be driving this. How? I will explain. 
what to be automated you have to find out in your domain interest you can be in you can be here you can be here you can be here but what to be automated you should do that instead of writing code only only if that is important i am not saying but you should this is called automation skills i have given a name what is automation skills i'll tell this i need the domain knowledge for the automation so these two has to come together and how to do that so imagination in any direction in your techno business is fine with above point understanding which is that above point this one and why explain that here any questions no now look this is practical where am i in the product i gave you a couple of questions that where where now i am where am i in the product and organization with respect to technology and it's a very interesting pyramid and I, i was look at this it's the pyramid as the top one with respect to the number of people in the top and the bottom one is the number of people in the bottom okay and according to their jobs description number top most is a cxo ceo cto coo cio and board members these are the only in the top and any technology person can be ceo can be cto can be ceo cio i have not written cfo because technology people are not generally in finance and all so i have not written that so you can be any one of this from technology side but that number is small then comes below any product company i am not taking any companies any product company in the world you take it research and standard vertical sets the research below them different heads somebody is doing say cpu cpu head somebody is doing ram head cash memory head all this different 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 elements if you go they one 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 research and standard verticals head below that is research and innovators and pos there will be huge group of people below that who will be doing this research innovations and proof of concepts and feeding to the top okay so now this these numbers are increasing as we go below and the below that is this operation development testing when the proof of concept is done research is done everything is done and standard body it is being pushed then start massive development testing implementation of uh, annual maintenance and all kind of thing this is a very big number from this one you can see this one is a big number but last few years when i am within the last week i asked one manager very in top mnc hey what he's in the testing to the sir it is shrinking now one third or one fourth manpower automated a lot of things development may happen so what is happening the things are coming from the top from here this side automations so now look look my this graph vision comes from the top to bottom if cto ceo says hey i need this new product should have this 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 feature and and this red line i have done it at here now look at this in india particularly like 95% of the companies name is mnc's but to the best of our knowledge majority of us most of the times below this line this red line we are never allowed never cross this line only a few 2% or 3% does good r and then d they cross this barrier go up majority rotates here and we become the head of this some some software group and we become very happy and we say outside world 1000 people reporting to me 500 people reporting to me but the work is comes from the top the vision comes from the top not from the bottom it's clear so now we become very happy when get 15 lakhs 20 lakhs salary but we will be got stuck there look at the remuneration for that salary remuneration if it is x in the bottom top is 100x at least and no one gives again i repeat my sentence no one gives you 1 rupee extra if you don't find value so from the top if they see values then they will give you not so now comes that look at this last one this is the last one this one from any level one can go top by innovation value addition from here you can go up if you add value addition how to do it i'll explain with quanti- quantification with with that half life knowledge engineering how you will do that i'll explain you convinced 
any doubt about the salary no vision coming from top to bottom any doubt no and where the indian industry no and this pyramid no doubt very good so how to succeed and have a fulfilling technical career so another 10 minutes maximum now look at this so jokingly and always seriously of course i always tell in my class that this i always say aha this is the mantra of success first a stands for attitude second is health third is academics i have never never academics is number 1 even though you are here for academics it's number not number 1 it's number 3 and number 1 is attitude for your life ever and ever second comes health i always debated between health and attitude but i found health is two not one at attitude one gone it's very very dif- difficult to repair health gone discipline khane se theek ho jayega so no problem so ek do discipline goli khao fever gone but health is important extremely important it is above the academics so academics slash experience experience i kept it because uh, if you are in the company you are working that the experience is your knowledge actually if experience is a very good knowledge and that no, experience academics and experience has to be divided into this domain and skill always again that 60 40 or 70 30 then attitude most important once lost difficult to recover it's very very difficult to recover so quickly i will go through it many things you know couple of things attitude of human comes from the mind plus heart mind is very difficult to control heart is always clear very straight it is it is very straight so when there is a fight between mind and heart always listen to the heart because heart is conscience it's never allow you to do wrong generally so never never listen to your mind so if mind and heart in same line then listen be positive and good and in good time and hard times always very very common thing in the companies if you go to any companies always i hear so can this go on telling and uh, that i will not work in your company because your company doesn't give me this give me that all the people are talking about against me and all then then somebody on hr came and told hey do one thing you take this <clears throat> water bottle or a glass of water and do one thing you fill it up i will i will release you today you just fill it up full of glass of water give it to him and he told hey, go just walking through your that lane or where you are walking thrice and if you drop single drop of water i will not give you release it this fellow carries that water and he went on very carefully and came back again twice and thrice came back and told hey i have done i have not dropped single give me the release then he asked him when you are walking down like this have you heard anybody talking about you no have you it looked at you no that means you are not concentrating on your work always thinking that others are talking about you so if you are concentrated now like how you worked with the water glass you would not able to listen to the others that fellow withdraw the resignation started working so that is the thing attitude of us make creates a lot of problem if we are not positive be humble no arrogance success should be shared with the ecosystem we should not think that we have done everything thanks the person who has helped you known and unknown known is only parents teachers your relatives but unknowns you don't know for every grain of food a farmer is standing under the sun a uh, army is standing beside the border to protect us so these are the people we should thank always known and unknown of course parents number one then the teachers and all to whom you know but unknown people are giving their blood and sweat if you lead a simple life it is a big problem in the company the moment they join jobs within a two years huge loan one flat is enough they buy two flats three flats two cars three cars so this leads to other kind of problems job jumping no happiness and all so simple life no scarcity these are teaching for you after the graduations these are feedback from the companies save this is personal of course save every because it's coming under the attitude so i am saying every bit of your hard earning every bit you save now don't spend unnecessarily to do philanthropy work after being solvent save enough for your future everything be solvent then selfless service gives you satisfaction when you start donating if you do not have money you cannot donate so you donate then you will feel very happy 
no bad habit this is present future past any any time no 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 to bad habits no no narcotics no alcohol nothing doing ha pi rahe pita hi padhega bhai so no bad habits i'm serious so i'll tell you why because these are will make you thinking that you will be you, you know well okay now come back come back i i am i'm just these two slides i'll show you about these two then i'll go back to my original target what should be our career plan then the health without health we cannot work 100% if you look around so many people have been contributed for us now time has come for us to now to ecosystem we should if you work hard return back to the ecosystem no to narcotics and this is very important i will you people taught me on the 5th september ramayan i'll teach you gita today okay so on that they gave some good ramayan but wrong ramayan <laughs> so so now so sports is for the health sports is extremely important these are very important thing for you team spirit how to work together it is very much required in the company face failures you fail in the sports you don't mind when the company will mind so learn failure from now accept success with grace no arrogance and the last one is very very important so more practice when you will lose games or you want to win games we practice a lot and that overcomes our fear so if you read gita you read gita for those 18 chapters and all one of the famous scriptures of the world uh, um, uh, so the the whole birth of the gita is very interesting so you know gita where well, the bhagavad gita so bhagavad gita is that arjuna doesn't want to do the war and krishna started explaining him please do the war do you think arjuna was not knowing before going to the war that he has to war with drona and durjodhana uh, and bhishma and all those people he was knowing that he is a more than average intelligent boy like you or girls like you okay so now so if he is average intelligent and he was knowing that he have to war and why he didn't do the war suddenly in the war field he is all relatives he came to know before that he was knowing is they are all their relatives so if you play games if you if you are a champion of a game say carrom or tt or badminton when you play with your opponent you feel that there is a fear of losing hey shall i lose this game shall i win this game so that fear of arjuna leads to all kind of excuses and that is the genesis of the birth of bhagavad gita nothing else and to overcome the fear the practice practice means you read more code more whatever you want and that will give you out of this okay so the games teaches us these three things is that team spirit face failures and also the health now i am coming to the academics that experience hard should be your career okay no substitute to hard work that is the first thing on teachers day i heard ramayan from you teachers day you did ramayan a nice program in the 106 and that uh, dominos pizza ramayan okay So, now you look at the ramayan i'll go what is the depth of ramayan why is the ramayan such a important thing and ramayan is still effective that ram ravan yuddha is still going on ayodhya not over yet so so now ramayan we we only study that we only study that ram and uh, ravan did a wrong thing so ram went and killed him and sita was released and all that is one part then why is sita came with ram because sita was a obedient wife so you praise sita a lot obedient wife fine then why ram went to the jungle because he was obedient son so dasharatha was son so ram is great okay fine but you look at the depth if you go to the main cause like gita why the gita was started the main cause is very interesting of the whole ramayan so then the then the dasharatha why dasharatha asked ram to go because he given words to akaiki and why kaiki was given these words because if you read that dasharatha went for a war with sambhasur in the in the in the in, in the what battlefield the chariot wheel got damaged and kaiki kaiki repaired it and after the repair the dasharatha was so happy gave him two boons and that he you see utilize later so the moral of the story is that the quality of the chariot was not good <laughs> the so, whole ramayan started from the quality okay so it's so all those what you heard so perseverance for quality 
So the Ramayana which you gave me there for yesterday, I'm giving you return, <laughs> is that that Ramayana is the only the top part of it. Ram killed Ravan, Ram was, Sita was a wonderful wife, Ram was a wonderful son, and uh, Dashrath was a wonderful husband, to cook it. No, absolutely not. If the chariot was all right, Ramayana would not have been there. So the quality matters a lot for life. So you sh if you do not repair the quality now, you will get the hit somewhere else. So quality is important, you should work hard. And wherever your weakness, you try to now, golden period, you just fill it up. So now back, knowledge, back to the original. Knowledge equal to domain plus skill. Domain knowledge plus skill. Domain means attentive in class for concepts. Now, first semester or second semester, whatever it may be, it's been done so nicely. And now, after the first semester and the second semester onwards for the M-Tech and the my I am tech fifth semester onwards. I am tech students are here. Fifth semester onwards and M tech students second semester from the starting of the second semester onwards. Please, you know Darwin theory? Darwin? The evolutionary process. So, in that evolution, he said that every new generation is a much more better brain and much more sharper. Okay. So, if you find our these young professors like sitting here, they are, they are all, they are very, very sharp, intelligent than us. So you catch them. Okay. And catch them in the sense, I'll tell you how and why and when. So when I said you, after second, starting of second semester, fifth semester, discuss with professors in your areas of interest. What? I'll tell you. Your area of interest, you know. Go and catch them. They, are, they have done PhDs from top universities, good publications. And they, you see, how many people ask me question in when I teach 150 students, only 10. So that is less than 10%, out of 150, 10 is 7%. Same people will be become a professor. Rest 140 doesn't ask questions. Why? Because you are shy by nature. You have a question, lot of question in your mind. You don't ask. So we Indians by nature shy. Similarly, we become older, become professors, we are shy. And we do not come to the students. So, but we have, these people have a huge dearth of knowledge, but they don't want to come. And you don't go. So, hoga kaise domain knowledge? Class, mein, everything doesn't happen in the class. You have to go to the next step, doing research, innovations and all. So, class is only about the concept of the present, what is being there. So, you catch hold of them, of your areas of interest, who are the professors, and ask them, sir, this area from second semester, onwards, I want to do some research, please guide me. And coding you are very good, much better than them. But this knowledge, domain knowledge part, you catch them. And this is very, very important. This process of how, uh, of going to them and they will give you the papers to study and by, you study by yourself. Before you graduate out, if you have written a draft paper or a paper or a invented something, coded something and all, that is called a process of self-learning, self-learning process. Because in company, you will not get the professors. You may get your colleagues, friends to discuss. But you have to be learned this by before leaving this place. To overcome half-life knowledge in engineering. Part 4 presentation, I have just given in the last month, part 4 presentation is recorded. How to do this research part. Where to read, how to read, how to write a paper and all. Just this recorded is there. But now I am coming, how much quantify, I will quantify now, how much extra time one should give for new technical areas of learning per week as a student in job. So you now a student, when you go, go to job, you carry this with you that how much I should do. How to compensate my half-life knowledge from here? Now you learn from the process, learn it and go to the company how it will work. So how to compensate half-life knowledge? Look at this. I have done, done this calculation. UG, undergraduate, 40 hours per week supposed to be and 30 weeks because we have two semesters, 15-15 weeks, two semesters. So, four years, total, if I work for 4,800 hours, I get undergraduate degree. Okay. So, now, out of this degree, yearly I am giving, yearly how much I am giving? I am giving 1,200 hours because for, by divided by 4, half of it, half life, half will go. So, that means I am 600 hours of my studies uh, goes af after, f after f uh, 5 years or 2 years becomes zero. 600 hours of studies, okay. So now, how to compensate these 600 hours? 
let us assume in let us assume that five years is a half life knowledge every five years is my my knowledge is become half now it is two years <clears throat> but for this pro calculation point of view i am assuming this that in in what i have learned in the year one that will in the sixth year it will be half i need to work extra 600 hours to compensate this half extra it's not that i am doing which is normally so to compensate with respect to the above point 2 this one the 600 hours how to do it so 600 hours has two parts domain knowledge skills 400 plus 200 because 60 40 i said okay <clears throat> because you want your salary high yes or no uh, then this so now 400 hours by 48 weeks so when you go back to the company you get four weeks of holidays one month per year so 52 weeks is a year 52 minus 4 weeks is your 48 weeks so now 400 hours divided by 48 is 8.3 hours per week i have to do extra works for domain knowledge now for the skill 200 by 48 4.1 hours this one per week then comes what about above 0.4 innovation discussion but team self learning is if i calculate every day every day we have to give one hour 45 minutes i have done this calculation seven days then you are continuously compensating your loss so what your normal work you are doing in the office or in the in now a student you are doing coursework these that and all along with that you have to spend extra close to two hours per day to learn something new of your areas of interest so now I will tell you how to start your life. Back to slide four. How above impact to your career? You got it. Any questions? This calculation is very straight. Started from here. This hours total. This is the half life engineering, which is being well tested. I am assuming very liberal five years, not two years. Practically two years. So, you, so now let me go back to the slide four. Slide four means where I have drawn that graph. This is slide four. Now you see you are you are here. So if you only do coding, you will fall into this trap. This trap. You are not learning something new and all. So how to do that? So in this M Tech of two years, after the first semester, you start learning how to do the extra domain knowledge kind of things. That means your areas of interest. You go and talk to the concerned professor sir i want domain knowledge means those three areas broadly i said that means any any in conservation of informations uh, database designs or or web science or anything like that and data science or or or, or database and in and computations means your algorithms and your uh, all those things and um, uh, and your in in communications there are so many areas of hardware there are so many areas. so any domain you picked it up and the skills are your coding, math, English, machine learning is a higher of math. Those are all skills helping us to prove our concepts are correct or not. So you pick up at here, look at my hand. After the first semester, four courses over, then you elective, PRE elective are given. I was so sad. Last week, just one month you have come here. I have finished my class, gone out. Somebody is asking me, sir, which are the new companies coming here will give good salary. Can you give us the list? Hey, Baba, you are one month is gone only, next two years is left, you are here to study. I asked him, who has sent you in the placement office? Well, ah, God, let me clutch X, Y. So, don't disturb yourself, placement now. Placement will third semester. Don't disturb yourself now, time for you. Please help them or ask them, the staff, to come to us to take these numbers and come. We will help them. Don't disturb yourself. You, please, because you are our future. If you do well in the company, people will ask you from where you have graduated. Triple A to me. That is my, my, my dream or your dream and professor's dreams and everybody's dreams. So now you, you should pick up here. The PRE has given to you. Utilize that in your domain knowledge. Well planned design curriculum. Well thought. Core is to gap. Fill up your gaps, first semester, second semester onwards, you just take up your electives according to your interest. Do hard work. Don't only jump into coding. Coding is important again and again, I'm saying. But that is 30 to 40 percent for your future long. I showed you the complete this graph where you are. 
and this is the truth. So now you pick it up and here in this graph, when you go, don't do, if coding will go straight like this. If you do innovation, file patent, your curve will be little. So this is theta 3. And this I have not drawn any time. First I am drawing for you. So, so you should be in the theta 3 track. Innovate, products, and it will give you a lot of satisfaction. Forget the K, K point of view. Okay, knowledge point of view. So now, you understood my point. So second semester onwards, you please start doing that. And now I'll go back to last two, one slide. So this, this one I showed you that you go to this. I took you to there. So I carry here. So now you have to self-learning. Every day you give this and mainly that domain and this one. And who can do it? age and area no bar any time you can start no, don't worry at all we are still learning i'm this age we i'm studying a lot of things which is very very new to me professor mother is studying professor raghavan is studying everyone of us everyone of you know, so only need this passion you people passion is in different areas. just turn it out different internet you will not see after the evening except lms don't waste time. Facebook, LinkedIn, killer. Only if you are doing research on those areas, do don't have, stop it. Absolutely stop it. Like narcotics. It's a one kind of narcotic. Narcotic means it's addiction. Stop it for your life. And this is a very nice thing I learned. If you are keen, any direction in your life, today is day one, rest of for your life. Today you think day one. Don't think, don't look back what has happened. Past, I have not done this. Don't regret. Today is day one. Start learning for the rest of your life. And this is my last summary is this. Speaker is not advocating to do higher degree. I am not asking you. My first one, MTech or IMTech or PhD, no. But advising for more studies and self-learning for life. Don't take me wrong. But advising you more studies, self-learning for life, increase the domain knowledge concept, skill to prove it. My, and M-Tech, IM-Tech, MS, PhD, MBA, MD in medicine, train us for a process in short time. This is help, gives us a process. If I do M-Tech, I'm doing M-Tech, nothing to regret, but this teaches me a process by the help of the professors and my teammates, lab mates and all, that, that how quickly I can learn, the process you learn at here. And you go out with this process, within the short time because this two years goes like this so but you learn a invaluable thing by this process of this invaluable you cannot understand now you'll understand after five ten years so must learn is derive happiness whenever you are studying don't think they're studying for somebody else you're doing hard work somebody else no must learn this derive happiness pleasure from present work always be happy what you are learning anytime don't say that other person is happy you are happy only and this is the golden period to learn as much as possible. And this is the dialogue I wrote. Give me time and will give you the career. The time give me is not me. It's a faculty book, paper. All are asking you. Faculty is asking you, give me time. And the book is asking me, give me time. You're not giving time. You're only watching Facebook. So, so, and we'll give you career. And this, so this is taken by that. Give me blood. I'll give you freedom. Yes to, this is the last line, always yes to, never, never, never hesitate, hard work, focused work, teamwork, it's all common is work, focused, hard, team, humble, and slide 16, and the slide 16 is nothing but, I did that calculation, this calculation, you have to devote this much of time per week, for new things, not that what is existing and the old, and then you will be go, the slide 16 is this, and at this, I end my talk. Thank you. Any questions?